Hey everyone. So this is a different type of flip. Um, I, I bought this, actually, yeah, I think I bought it or I got it for free at one of my neighbor's uh, yard sales. And I thought it was cool because it was just like a nice wooden box. And then it opened up and it had all these cool compartments. And I, I'm not, like I wasn't 100% sure at the time when I got it, what I was gonna do with it. But my father-in-law's birthday is coming up and I thought I would turn it into like a, just a cool box. And then I was gonna, I was gonna put, um, on the inside I was gonna put like a bottle of whiskey and some, some glasses and some other things in there that, that would be cool. Um, my, my plan is to give it a nice sanding and then um, put on, put it, put a stain on it. So other than that, let's just get into this and I think I'll start by taking up the hardware. So I just finished uh, getting all the hardware off of it. Now I'm gonna start sanding it and then prepping it for a uh, stain. Um, there's no real damage, like there's no big mix or cuts or broken pieces, so I don't have to fill it, which is good because I'm not 100% sure how I would fill it and stain it at the same time. Um, if any of you know, if there's like a process that I should know, let me know in the comments. Um, so I'm gonna sand it down and then I will probably, uh, I'm thinking of a dark stain, like maybe like a dark mahogany or something. Um, I'll see what I have so I don't spend any money on that, but uh, we'll see. Um, other than that, it looks like it's really thin pieces of wood with two pieces of veneer on either side. So I have to kind of be careful when I start sanding. I don't really want to go beyond the veneer. just want to take off whatever, um, whatever stain they had on it before. So that's what I'm doing now. So I got it all sanded down, then I uh, wiped it with a damp cloth to get all the dust off of it. Now I'm going to um, stain it with this wood stain. It's an um, uh, English chestnut, and um, I'll leave a link in the description of this. And then after that dries, I'm going to put this um, diamond wood finish on it. It's a crystal clear um, gloss just to protect it. I think it'll look cool if it's all really shiny and gloss. And that's what I'm doing right now. So let's go. Now I'm supposed to let it sit and then wipe it back um, before it dries, obviously. So I'm just going to let it sit for a minute or two and then I'll start, I'll start wiping it back. So I got all the stain on, uh, I let it dry overnight, and now I'm going to put on the, uh, the crystal clear top coat. Um, I, I, I hope I only have to put one coat on, um, but we'll, uh, we'll see how much gets soaked up into it, and then we'll start putting on the uh, velvet on the inside. Let's do that right there.
So I finished up the staining and the top clear coat and I think it looks pretty good. Um, the clear coat, I think I did like four or five coats on the outside. Um, it's exactly what I was hoping it would look like. It looks really good. It really brought out the wood and uh, the stain was that English chestnut. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the um, the velvet, which I bought was a blue, a navy blue velvet, and I think it's going to make it look really nice on the inside. So that's what we're going to do now, and that's what we're going to do now. Let's do it. I got all the felt put in, cut out, glued in, everything looks good. Um, now I'm going to clean the hardware and reattach it. Then um, it will be done, but also for his birthday, I'm going to put some stuff in it. And I will show you that when it's time. Um, other than that, everything's going pretty smooth. All right, let's go back to work. So that'll do it for that one. Um, I'm gonna give it to him on his birthday and I hope he likes it. Uh, I, what I really liked about that project was the actual, like getting to see the wood grain and how pretty the uh, stain and the top coat worked together. Um, it makes me wanna do some more things like that to some of the bigger furniture pieces I have. So I'm gonna be thinking about that. Also, if uh, you're new to my channel, my name is Ryan and I'm flipping furniture so that I can take my wife on a vacation for our 20th anniversary. Um, if this type of thing is something you like, please subscribe and like and comment. Let me know if there's anything that you could tell me that I might be doing wrong or something that I can do easier. I sure would appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next flip.